guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm gonna to be creating a rear diffuser and side splitters for the M3. Now the process here is gonna be very similar to what I did in my last video with the front splitter. So if you guys have not seen that already, make sure you guys go back and check that out. But to kind of highlight what's going on, the first step in this process is to design exactly what you want. Um, so what I do is cut it out of cardboard. I've already done that for my diffuser and for my side splitters. So next step is to take that template that you've made and then put it onto the material that you're gonna be making your parts out of. For me, that's ABS plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take my templates, put them on top of the plastic, cut them out and then attach them to the car. The diffuser is gonna be a little bit difficult though, just because there's gonna be a couple different pieces that I'll have to cut out and then go through and attach. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on these side splitters first because I think that's gonna be quite a bit easier and then I can get those attached and then start working on the rear diffuser. So it's just held up by cardboard right now, but here is the line. It's a very subtle curve in and then back out. It's not too aggressive. Alright, so I finished drilling holes in the side splitter and the passenger side of the car, but before I can actually put the riv nuts in and attach the side splitter, I need to get the right size and thread pitch uh, for my riv nut gun. So that actually has to be ordered. So while I wait on the correct tools to come in, um, I will get to work on the rear diffuser. I'm going to call it a night for now and then pick back up with you guys in the morning. So right about now. So let's get started. All right, so let's go over the basic shape of what the rear diffuser is going to be. 
So you're gonna have three main sections to this rear diffuser, basically long flat pieces that are going to cover uh, basically everything underneath here, including the muffler and all that. So the first section is gonna be between the two exhaust tips right here. Uh, so it's gonna cover this section. Uh, then what you're gonna do is you're going to have another section start from here. It's gonna go down, it's gonna cut across to this point. And then from there, you're gonna have another section that goes all the way to the end and then comes straight down. So that's what's gonna happen on both sides over there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to measuring. By the way, that's just a, it's just a good exhaust shot right there. This is, for those of you who don't know, the Agency Power Titanium Muffler. I really haven't done any other exhaust modifications and I think it sounds amazing. So I definitely recommend this muffler for sure. All right, so I wanna show you guys what the diffuser looks like now in the light, that way you guys can see. Uh, it's still cardboard, but I wanna give you guys an idea of what I'm working with, and then once I pull the cardboard off the car, I can show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so here it is. This is obviously a very basic version. I've got my marks where I want some of my fins to go. Uh, I've got it dropping down where the exhaust pipes are. So you, you kinda of get an idea of the basic shape. All right, so here it is without the car so you guys can see. Um, I've got a couple different sections laid out here. What that'll allow me to do is break this apart, uh, use those pieces as templates, and then from there, piece all five of them together. I may even add a little bit on here, but I'm not sure yet. I just gotta figure that out as I go. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this apart and then start cutting my ABS. All right guys, so I finished bending the center section for the rear diffuser, so I wanna show you guys what that kinda of looks like on the car. All right, so here it is. Uh, just got it set up there right now, but I like the height of it. So the next step is just to build the fins that go on either side and then the center. But most importantly, um, figure out what height I wanna go with on all the fins, so that way they don't drag too low. In order to do that, I do need to go ahead and drop the car down. Now before I drop the car down, I do want to go ahead and finish installing the side blade splitters that I built because the rivnut gun that I ordered finally came in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish drilling out the holes on the passenger side and then I'll do the driver's side, install the rivnuts and install the side blade splitters and then drop the car down so you guys can see.
All right, so here we go. Side splitters are on. I know there's tape on there right now. That's because I'm messing with ideas on where to cut the front splitter so it's a little bit cleaner. The side splitters I'm really happy with. I really like how the curve came out on this. It's extremely subtle um, and easier to see in person. Really hard to see on the camera, but um, I do like it. I think it looks a little bit more put together than just sticking a straight piece of ABS on there. I think it looks a little bit more planned and uh, just kind of goes with the shape of the car a little bit better. All right, so now that these side splitters are attached to the car, um, I can get back to work on the rear diffuser. But to get that rear diffuser finished, there's gonna be a lot of time and forethought spent trying to get that thing to where it looks good and also uh, fits the car well, that kind of stuff. Now, I don't wanna postpone and upload for you guys any longer, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. That way you guys have something between now and when I finish the rear diffuser. Um, and then also I can go ahead and cut the front splitter so that way it just cleans up the lines of the car a little bit better. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to like it. It really helps out and uh, really means a lot to me. Also, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, that way you guys can see when the latest videos are out, as well as you can check out my Instagram, which will be linked down below. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day.